Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, we will talk about the human's brain and heart. The strongest can be weak too. My name is Nur Ita Vera Masari. My name is Birotul Kamaria. My name is Rizky Arinda Yuniarti. My name is Sansan Estudiningru. And my name is Marani Zata. So, happy watching! Check it out! <laughs> Now, we'll talk about a brain. The brain is one of the largest and most complex organs in the human body. A brain is an organ that serves as the center of the nervous system in all vertebrates and most invertebrate animals. Researchers have uncovered a way to block the process of forgetting, delving deeper into the mechanism that makes memories fade. According to a new study, the process by which memories are forgotten relies upon specific machinery in the brain's nerve cells. But if this process is blocked by adding a small tailor-made molecule, it's possible to prevent memories from fading away. Writing in the journal Science, Ankit Awatsi and his team at the European Neuroscience Institute in Göttingen, Germany identified a protein called C3 as a key link in memory making. To investigate its role, the researchers compared normal mice with animals termed C3 knockout that have been genetically modified not to produce any C3 or synaptotechnin 3. That team tests the abilities of the mice to learn and forget using a series of maids. And the result of the test. In the test, the mice learn their way to a certain point in the maze to retrieve a food reward. Both the normal and the C3 knockout mice were able to do this equally well. But When the foot was moved to a new position in the maze, while the unmoved mice repeatedly learned the new foot location and forgot about the first foot location, the C3 knockout mice consistently visit the original location first before moving on, the, on to the new location. Uh, in the brain, Memories are stored as molecular and cellular change within synapses. The connections between neurons, one of the structures responsible for making memories is the AMPA receptor, a protein found at synapses that helps to pass signals from one neuron to another. This is the structure of AMPA. The more this EMPA receptor is used, the more of it is made so a memory is reforged. And then, uh, the purpose of C3, the membrane protein identified by Awatsi, is to recycle redundant AMPA receptors. This has the effect of weakening memory pathways that aren't being used. So, blocking C3 prevents AMPA receptor recycler, and the pathway cannot weaken, meaning memories won't fight. So, uh, from that we know uh, that researchers, researchers uh, find a way to block memory. So now I I want to talk about brain and Alzheimer's. Uh, after some costly and disappointing drug trial failures, the field welcome and fund, funding search tool from tracking disease and interdisciplinary collaboration to tackle one of science's most stubborn puzzle. What is it? Yes, this is Alzheimer's. What is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is the most common cause of dementia, a general term for memory, lo memory loss and other 
cognitive ability serious enough to in interfere with daily life. Uh, this is the picture uh, from normal normal brain and the damaged brain, uh, which is the Alzheimer's has it. And then how about dementia? Dementia is an overall term from disease and condition characterized by a decline in memory, language, problem solving, and other thinking skill that affect affect a person's ability to perform everyday activities. Uh, like memory loss, difficulty communication, anxiety, hallucination, mood swing, and etc. And how uh, and what the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's? So dementia is a syndrome, and then Alzheimer's is a disease. So this difference, Alzheimer's just one type of dementia. The symptom of Alzheimer and other dementia has significant significant overlaps. Dementia can have several causes and is potentially reversible. Alzheimer cause is unknown and there is no cure. Mm, dementia and Alzheimer's progress in three stages: mild, moderate, and severe. Treatment of various types of dementia and Alzheimer's are similar. Um, and have the same goals. The life expectancy of people with dementia depends on the type of dementia. The life expectancy of people with Alzheimer's depends on their age and genetic composition. So there is a difference between dementia and Alzheimer's. This is show. Uh, sorry, show about graphic. Uh, Alzheimer's disease worldwide 47 million people have Alzheimer's disease or related dementias and that number is predicted to double in the next 20 years later yes aging is by far the biggest risk factor for developing Alzheimer's is if everyone left to be uh, 85 one in two people will develop dementia the lion's share of Alzheimer's research and drug discovery to date has focused on misfold amyloid and tau protein, which go great to from flex and flex. There is amyloid and tenless or uh, tau in the brain. But the body attempts to clear the sticky protein might also be contributing to or causing the new degeneration. Larry Friedman, director of scientific affairs at the ADDF, said, We're really seeing every type of different approach to Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. The areas being explored include the vascular system, epigenics, neuroprotection, synaptic health, immunity and inflammation, and metabolic dysfunction, among other. amongst other. So, neuroinflammation and Proteins that these are the management of protein within cells are trending areas of research in IDDF portfolio. Research investigating prote proteostatis would like to find ways to boost the cell's garbage disposal system, which is uh, identify misfold clamping protein and chew them up for the cycling. So, uh, this is the neuro. Sorry. Then, oh, Alzheimer's cannot uh, heal, but it can be prevented. So, how to prevent Alzheimer's? It's easy. In young age, we must be we must forge because uh, it can uh, de decrease Alzheimer's in next. Future. Another booming area of Alzheimer's research is the development of biomarkers and diagno diagnostic tests to monitor disease presence and progression. So we we have two methods. The one is PET. It is this. Sorry, this is PET. And then, and then the second is collecting cellular spinal fluid. 
this is the 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 number second. Hello, I will tell you about autism spectrum disorder and brain. So, what is PSD? PSD is something that human, he, human, so he, he is special, she or he is special, they, because they can, because they have social behavior, communication, language, interests, activities, unique, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. So, epidemiology, it is estimated that worldwide, one in 160 children has an PSD. This is estimate represent an average figure and report prevents very substantially accurate studies. What is the cause? So, the cause of PSD is environmental and genetic factors. So, the adjustment and management, evidence-based psychosocial intervention such as behavioral treatment and parent skill training programs can reduce difficulties in communication and social behavior with a positive impact on well-being and quality of life for persons with ESD and their caregivers. So, social and economic impacts. While some people with ESD can live independently, others have several disabilities and require lifelong care and support. Human rights worldwide, people with ESD are often subject to stigma. They have discrimination, so they get discrimination for the people in their habits and human rights violence violations. Globally, access to service and support for people with ESD is inadequate. We have a resolution on autism spectrum disorders. So in May 2014, 67 World Health Assembly adopt a resolution entitled Comprehensive and Coordinated Efforts for the Management of Autism Spectrum Disorders or ESD. So we have to collaborate with member states and partner agencies to strengthen national capacities to address ESD and other developmental disorders. We are our response. So, we are all provide a road map for policy access to health, inclusive education, and optional well being and partic participation throughout the life course. Thank you. I think that's all. Uh, hi, and here I will be explaining about why Down syndrome have a special memory problem. And now, first, uh, we must know what is Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a condition of mental opens and physical development while the baby is still in composition, composition caused by abnormalities in the number of chromosomes. And that is a picture of Down syndrome sufferers. The Down syndrome sufferers have a common symptom like such as a typical facial appearance. Uh, you can see that uh, they have a same uh, type of face because of Down syndrome. And Down syndrome have a the size a head uh, is smaller and the back is flat and the eyes is rise slightly this uh there's a common symptom of the down syndrome so
Uh, now you must know what is GRIK1 gene. The GRIK1 gene is located on chromosome 21, which is replicated in people with Down syndrome, who therefore have a higher of dose of many genes. And then, what is function of GRIK1? The function of GRIK1 is what well, the first. As one of the causes for people with Down syndrome having spatial orientation problem. And second is this particular gene plays a very important role in communication between neurons, regulating the release of the main inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain, called GABA. So, what is spatial memory problem? Spatial memory problem is a form of memory responsible for the recording of information about one environment and spatial orientation. And then, it's the main of causes of Down syndrome have spatial memory problem. So, this is called the causes is poor balance of inhibitory and inhibitory neurotransmitter allows nerve circuit to not function properly and that is what causes of down syndrome have special memory problem hello so the next one is we talk about heart so heart what is heart the heart is a muscular organ about the size of the fist located just behind and slightly left of the breastbone uh, scientists, uh, well, no, the first one is we talk about um, running and sitting can change shape of your heart. Is that true or false? So scientists have long known that humans are built for endurance with our shock absorbing joints and spring tendons. Hypothesis testing by researchers. Researchers using 160 adult men from four different groups. The first one is long distance runners, and the second one is sedentary adults, and the third one is highly trained football linemen, linemen. and the fourth one is Tarahumara. So the Tarahumara is a farmer that lives in Hawaii. For comparison, researchers also look, look at the heart of 43 adult male chimpanzees. And the third one is research explanation. So the result is runners and tarahumara has has a have a larger elongate ventricle with thin walls of heart. And the second one is the land man and the sedentary adult is shorter, wider, and ventricle with thicker walls of heart. And the third one is chimpanzees, shortest and thickest ventricles of the heart. So what the causes of the problem is the first one is intensity of blood pressure uh, and the second one is the adaptation of interest the fourth one is the conclusion so uh, running and sitting can change shape of your heart is a fact heart shape change is a fact but there are factors that influence it, namely incorporation of endurance activities like running or swimming over many years. So the people with the high activities every day is more thicker heart than the other. Uh, okay, now I'm Octavia Tirosida. I will uh, tell you uh, about one of the problem heart that can occur in our heart. What is it? This is, is high blood pressure or hypertension. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the amount of blood our heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in our arteries. Uh, and then, what is high blood pressure? High blood pressure occurs when the system is above 120 mm mercury and the diastole above 80 mm occurring. Uh, what is systole? Systole is the condition when heart muscle contracts, while uh, diastole is the condition when the heart muscle relaxes. Uh, the, the normal blood pressure in human is when the systole under 
120 mm mercury and the diastole uh, under 80 mm mercury and then what is the causes of hypertension uh, the causes can divide into two the first is essential high blood pressure and then secondary high blood pressure uh, essential high blood pressure has no established causes while secondary high blood pressure causes by another health problem and then age why age can uh, causes hypertension uh, the risk of high blood pressure increase as you age until about age 64 high blood pressure is more common in men and then when uh, the age is 65 uh, the high blood pressure is more common in women and then family history if there is member of your family that have high blood pressure uh, it may increase the risk of cat hypertension and then at the crown uh, and then obesity gender and physical inactivity people who are inactive tend to have higher heart rate that can get heart of the heart contraction and need more stronger force in arteries and then smoking alcohol intake poor diet mental stress and diabetes and then symptoms most people with high blood pressure will not experience any symptom people often call hypertension the silent killer for this reason uh, and then what is general signs of hypertension the first is head age now see uh, vomiting dizziness blur or double vision no split breathlessness and then what is the sign on children? The first is head edge, fatigue, root vision, nose split, and bell palsy. And then, what is complication of hypertension? The first is stroke, and then heart attack and heart failure, and then foot clots, aneurysm, kidney disease, thickness, narrow or turned blood vessel in the eyes, metabolic syndrome and then the last brain function and memory problem uh, how about the treatment the treatment the first is slightly slightly elevated the doctor may suggest some lifestyle change for people who slightly elevated blood pressure who have a lower risk of developing cardiovascular disease and then in moderate height if blood pressure is reasonable high and the doctor believes that the risk of developing cardiovascular disease during the next 10 years is above 20 percent they will probably prescribe medication and recommend certain lifestyle changes and then suffer if blood pressure level reach 180 per 120 millimeter mercury or above uh, this is hypertensive crisis an immediate change to the type or dosage of medication might be necessary uh, and then regular regular exercise even walking for 30 minutes on three until four days of the week will usually reduce a person blood pressure by four millimeter mercury according to an older study in hypertension journal and then uh, the last is sleep although increased sleep alone cannot treat hypertension sleep deprivation and poor sleep quality have strong link to high blood pressure okay uh, i think that's all that i can uh, tell to you uh, i'm sorry for uh, making mistake Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching our presentation. Hope you enjoy. Click like and subscribe. Click like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Bye. Bye.